This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from the Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so with that touch of the gloves, we are underway with this stand-up only fight. A couple of rules in play here, we remind you. No grappling of any type. Also, fighters cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see how it plays out. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Akhmedov. Headshot, bang! Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Rips the body there for good measure. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, nice body shot. good is this one minute into the fight and we got a full-on brawl these guys said that they were going to point to the city octagon and they were going to fight did i believe them no so right now i am so wrong they are doing exactly what they said yeah shades of max holloway against ricardo lamas back in the day the fighters on point tonight lands a beautiful kick oh nice combination This is fun to watch if you like striking as these fighters go back and forth. Oh, nice hook there by Akhmedov. There's another one. 
Just over three minutes to go. Nice liver shot lands. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Best punch in the game. Beautiful jab. Nice shot to the body there. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Came from inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Akhmedov gets caught by that picture. Perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Up the top. some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Just out of range with that right hand. Under two minutes to go. He hurt him real bad. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Lands a good combination. Lands a quick jab. Body shot there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Oh, look at him snap off the jab. That's pretty to watch. Beautiful employment of the jab here. Under a minute to go in the round. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Yeah, left hook found its target. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, misses with the jet. Cut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Final seconds here. Uh, that horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so what a round it was for him, particularly when it comes to those body kicks, DC. Landed those body kicks every single time he threw them. Every time he decided body kick is going to be the strike, it landed. His opponent needs to do something different, or this fight is not going to last much longer. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's put on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. That one connected. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Misses with the left hook. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. 
Madoff's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. a big left hand. Big combination. Oh! He's cut. Give me that Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Beautiful right hand over the top. When he gets close, he throws. He lands. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that's about to get worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Establishing the jab here. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Akhmedov's got a bruise appearing on that left side now. Got to think. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, a big left hand! Nice. Left hand got home there. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lou. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Akhmedov's cut on his nose. Manageable for a while. Maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Round three next. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, that is it for that round. Akhmedov's corner is visibly concerned about that nose, and rightfully so. Perhaps it was broken in that last round. Got to figure it's going to be hard to breathe the rest of the way. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, 
continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. No defense. These two are going back and forth. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really has it been up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. Oh, nice. He's got to start throwing down. Huge block there. Look to the head there by Lee. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Great commitment to the kicking game. Akhmedov's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week, but now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. You don't have to lose everything on one night. His corner can stop the fight now, and he would be mad now, but he would appreciate them later because it will extend his career going down the line. Nice inside leg kick there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked got the Anderson Silva situation. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer. <laughs> now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his hand. Oh, this is her bad. Big right hand there. Akhmedov gets stung by that leg kick. Bro, that cut is so bad. Like, can't the referee stop the fight right now? Somebody needs to stop it, because he won't. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the beauty in the fighter. He will not quit. Sometimes you gotta go in there and tell him, hey man, there's tomorrow. Yeah. Does not have to happen with that. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Lee's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the hey, books. Stop. All right, heading back to the corner now after that round. And Akhmedov's nose has got to be broken. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time. And ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see.
All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five, five. That is a damaging kick that lands. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Akhmedov's eye is closing up. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nice hook. Oh, lands another hook. The right hand just misses. Wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Hands on your face. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very. Oh. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's yeah. working. Just misses with the right. Jab to the dome. Oh! Defense. Oh, another one. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You you gotta get the elbows inside. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, nice right hand. Lee's kick is blocked. Good fight here under two to go. Some nice back and forth action here. Good lead right by Akmedov. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm, landing those nice, beautiful punches. Please kick that one blocked. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yes, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are leading like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. He's hurt bad. Just misses with that one. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Oh, oh he's hurt again. Oh, 
unable to connect there. Keep that high now. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feed, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick land. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Heading back to the corner after that round. Akhmedov's nose is thankful that's the end of the round. Got to be broken. A lot of blood coming out of that nose area. And we'll see if they indeed call on the ringside physician to take a closer look. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready, fight. Ready. Start. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Lands to the body there. Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta... Oh! Now we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of round number five. Declared the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no 